My mother was a Sunday school teacher for 40 years when she was living. She used to always tell me, she said, God blesses you to become a blessing. Well, I didn't get it back then because I ain't had nothing. So he blessed me, what, when, mama, we ain't got nothing. She said, but one day, son, you're going to be different. I'm standing here today because I learned something. I just try to tell people some real basic stuff to succeed. You do not have to be educated to succeed. So you can quit beating yourself up about your lack of education. Education ain't in the Bible. Harvard ain't in there. UCLA ain't in there. Now, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, scientist, dentist, you got to go to school. We understand that. Maybe if you're gifted with your hands of healing, you do that. But what about if you like me? What if you like you? What if you ain't a school person? What you going to do? Suppose you got a learning disability. Suppose you dyslexic. Suppose you just don't get the You know, I just didn't get math. Once you got past adding, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you lose me. I don't know. I only know what I know. I learned to identify this gift of mine, and this gift has made room for me. Now, I've told you that, but here is the other thing. Once you identify your gift, you have got to write this information down. If you do not have a vision board, if you don't have a dream list, I am telling you, you are complicating your process to getting what you want in life. You're complicating it because you are missing, because maybe nobody ever told you, or maybe you don't think that it applies to you, but a simple principle of success is that it has to be written down somewhere. Oprah was on TV for 30 years talking about these vision boards. Oprah, she got a billion dollars. I'm like, she has my attention. Now, like I said earlier, you don't gotta be rich to be happy. Maybe your goal is not to make a million dollars. That's cool, but maybe you just need 150,000. Maybe you just need 200,000. I'm telling you, you have to write this information down. I don't care what church you go to, synagogue, temple, mosque. If you don't write it down, chances of it happening is slim. Could that be the one thing that's holding you back? If I'm telling you this, a dude with no education, I can't read a business periodical. My head will explode. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. It's not what I do. Too many times, People have you focusing on your weaknesses. You're wasting your time. You ain't got to strengthen that. Work on what you good at. If you focus on what you good at, you'll make enough money. You hire somebody to be what you ain't. I got all kind of people read numbers and contracts and all that, because I can't do it. But I hire them. Listen, man, you've got to write this information down. Let me tell you what the reason writing it down is important because it plants the information in your subconscious. That means write exactly what you want. Don't deviate, be clear. If you want four cars, it's nothing wrong with wanting four cars. If you want three houses, you can have three houses. Why not? Why, why you can't have, to? why you just can't get a home? What kind of God you serve where he won't give you a house? It's just a house. Somebody asked me the other day, they saw my vision board, they said, man, where your dream car at? They in the driveway. They have been marked off the vision board a long time ago. The vision boards work. I'm not bragging, I'm telling you how this work. You don't think I got all these TV shows, I ain't making no money now. I'm out here hustling and grinding, but I'm willing to work. You gotta write everything you want down. Now, if you want, like I said, you can go to school, try to get you another degree. I don't have one. I'm telling you what I did to get here. I learned a few scriptures that made some good sense to me. You have not cause you ask not. So you mean to tell me if I just keep asking you for it and believing in it, that's one way to get it? Okay, cool. Then you tell me faith without works is dead. You tell me if I believe in you and I'm willing to work, I should have it. But I can't believe in it and don't work and I won't get it? Okay, I understand that one. And then you tell me to write the vision and make it plain? I can do this. These are things you can do today. 
that ain't got nothing that you don't need nobody's permission to succeed. To get to God, you ain't got to check with nobody. He, are, he available to you today. You ain't got to get cleared. His line ain't busy. You can talk to him right now. I do it all the time. That's how I got here. I'm telling you how you can get to where you're trying to go. Now you can go get your another education if you want to. I did it without an education. I did it without nobody's money. All I did was identify this gift. I worked. I wrote all of my visions down. I read them every morning and every night. And I instilled them in my head. And every time I met somebody, they say, hey man, what you trying to do? I would tell them one of my visions. Somebody would always say to me, you know, I know a guy that's selling them things right there. You ought to talk to him. I start scratching stuff off my vision board. My vision board is so vast now. If I showed you what was on it, you wouldn't even believe it. Because I dream so big. I want so big because the God I serve is big. He's not a small God. He's a really, really big God. He does really, really big stuff. And I expect him to do really, really big stuff for me. If somebody who had come from the bottom and got to this position I'm in told me that this is the way I would try, if I was you, I would try that. I bet you it'll work, though. Sense. Man, and it's a right. beautiful thing because you've allowed your artistry to take you to these right. other plateaus and really become like a humanitarian, a philanthropist, a, a, a leader in, in uh, so many definitions of the word. But from uh, and, and I feel like people always know that what you're doing, but they don't understand the mechanics behind it right, to, right. to you you know, bringing electricity to, to Africa, to you having all of these different companies. Like, if you had to explain it in a nutshell, like, what is it that you're doing globally that, you know, is really making the world a better place? If I had to put it in one phrase, I would say I'm in the impact business. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because music makes the biggest impact in the world. Right. And with that, it opens doors to make a greater impact to people that's not quite musically adaptive or where music don't reach, which is like physical lives that's touching and breathing and moaning like you it, it, music touches your soul and your feeling right Facts. but something physical to where you literally are being illuminated or you in a position where there's no specific food that you can actually eat yeah. or in a position where you're dealing from an illness that can't be cured right. like i think music opens those doors for you to make that kind of impact and create to you know resolve some of those challenges right you know what i'm saying so it, it kind of all t you know ties in together man and from all of the amazing work that you do in Africa to having your own currency, the acorn, right. and and like how how do you prioritize your day from like all right, I'm gonna be an artist right now, I'm gonna be in the studio to all right, now I have a, a global initiative at the UN right. that I gotta <laughs> talk about. Well, the thing is, I think the secret is that I never scheduled, mm. and I when I and when it is scheduling, my sister Heidi just says, "Okay, you need to be here. You need to be here. You need to be here." But everywhere we need to be is all going towards that one common goal: one is to build the legacy, and one is to make impact. So when you look at it that way, it seems like you're not even working. It right. doesn't make sense because everything I do, I kind of do it relating to music. Or if I'm in, going on tour, I know I'm going to be in this country and these are things that can happen while I'm there. Right. So it kind of all kind of flows together. So it makes it easier. That's dope. Now, and I feel yeah. like the new goal in the industry now is people want to become billionaires. Right, right. And that's the, that's the new title. Like, oh, I'm going to be catch the billion. And, but one thing I've never heard of artists wanting or even getting near to accomplishing is having their own city. Right. You got you building your own city, like, like tell me about that, man. Like, and is it is it called Acon Land, Acon, <laughs> Aconville? It's Acon City. It's like, it's, it's, the city is gonna be called Acon. So it's, it's the Acon. and it's like a new, like it's a future city. Like yeah. everything's ran on like futuristic stuff, it's, right? It's all renewable. The Acon Solar Tainment City is all renewable. And this ain't like no right. Sims game or not. Like this is a real physical <laughs> place uh, that people can go to. <laughs> yeah, a real physical place. It's gonna have a real airport. Uh, <laughs> like <it's laughs> my man got his own city. It's like it's some so, real coming to America. If he got his <laughs> own money, like you, you got an Acoin and you have your own city. That's right. How and when will Acon City be be complete? Uh, well, it's a, it's a ten year. Uh, 
building blocks. So we're doing it in stages. We started construction in March. Right. And stage two is going to be 2025. And where is it? Where is the city located? It's in Senegal, Senegal, West Africa. Right. Right. Yeah. Man, I, your own city? That's yeah. that's that's richer than the billionaires. Like, 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 I'll just, <laughs> well, I'll, that's that's the thing. If, 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 if I always felt like if you have to label yourself a billionaire, I don't, I don't think billionaires even label themselves billionaires. I was about to say right? that. Say because the thing is, people don't. The people value, who really got the money don't know how much they. You worth. know, you have no idea. <laughs> like, but the the crazy part about it though, like when I hear stuff like that, it makes me sad in such a way because as I'm like when I travel, I see so many things that happen, so many people that need assistance, and so many things that just needs to be resolved. And if you can have a billion dollars sitting in the bank, right? Well, you have all these people suffering and struggling, man. I just to me, it's crazy. Yeah, you're, you're not putting it to work the it's, right way. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's like a waste of a billion dollars. It's yeah, sitting so, there literally. Yeah, your efforts are your wealth. There you go. Yeah, and 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 you putting in effort all over the world. What's the thing that Akon is the most excited about, other than the music that's coming right now? That, but like, what's that next thing? I know you always on on the something else. Well, I mean, the thing that I've been excited the most about was a coin. Really? Yeah, my own currency for Africa. He's got his own money. And what? <laughs> and the thing about people don't understand, I mean, the times that I've been over to Africa and, you know, we've traveled the world together, yeah. um, that cryptocurrency and even, like, uh, having a society with uh, a paperless money society money. Yeah. is happening big in Africa. Yeah, no, like, Africa's there. It's yeah, it's it's it, they're more uh, advanced than we are on that level to where right. they're they're exchanging goods and commerce just over their cell over phone. Cell phone. So the Acorn is probably going to be popping over there, but even before you know we're oh, yeah, onto the cryptocurrency 100%. wave over here. Yeah, you might just go. To vacation, and when you transfer your American dollars into their money, right, you might be transferring into acorns. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's big. <the> <laughs> that's big.